so hey. Chuckling nervously. Um, I've got twelve tickets. It took me forever to get it. I borrowed twelve tickets. Lost disastrously round one, two to nothing with a good deck. But I ripped two duels, Blood Crypt and a uh, Breeding Pool, and Ash Sealet, I believe, and a Supreme Verdict. Um, so here I am again. I'm so grateful to be able to play, but I'm telling you, it's hilarious. I'm just like, once again, all in. Like, I've got, honestly, nothing much more than this going on right now. Like, I hate to sound bleak, and I'm not. <laughs> I'm just being real. Uh, like, I've got shit all. I've got, actually, $40 to my name, which is ridiculously amazing. Thanks to my lovely parents. I've got some food left. Bills are late. I, Joe, wants to, whatever, fuck with me. Everything's whatever. <laughs> Uh, one might think bleak, but thankfully I'm not optimist. But it's really, really could be disheartening to be where I am right now, considering I'm trying to prove that I can play magic and make dicks. <laughs> I keep failing at that. I've sold like a bunch of dicks recently, as usual, and I'm needing them then just for a quick bit of cash or whatever it is. It's like that you can't make money without having money thing. Having money to make money. Oh my goodness. What's up, Simon Barr? You lovely person. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take this down. Let's just say that. I mean, I'm sure I'll remember to to five two games and lose round one, or game three, round two, more than likely, but I'm very optimistic, I can easily just take this down, and that's my goal, smash, smash, you know what I mean, like, just <laughs> no mercy, well, honestly, I think the far and away is close to as good as Miracle. Similar skills, I'm sure. Legendary status. I don't think Crow Cop can fly that. Anyways, I think I have to take this. I don't know. You could argue Far and Away is better, but this guy's ridiculous, clearly. I've won a few matches at least with him. Okay, best card here I would say is the Crasis, Crassus Incubation. Uh, whatever, the Gruel Origin is good, but not as good as that. This is just something that will uh, affect the board more. It will get you out of more positions. It's even an offensive card if you've got the mana and whatnot, right? Putting counters on your creatures. But um, it's really just more versatile than the Warchance War chance Optimistic. It's offensive. Um, this is reactionary. Uh, targeted removal like that really is just absolutely key. I mean, you can't, can't underestimate just being able to deal with things on the board. I mean, just being passive and just assuming that whatever they're gonna have is good. Think about that. Like just allowing them to do whatever. Hopefully they don't really get crazy stuff. You know. I mean, you have to be able to deal with the bombs. Please try. No. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know. I love Deputy. I love Boros Mastiff. Wolf Rider is obviously really good. Don't like this or this. This is good, but it goes super late. <laughs> I can't help but appreciate my neighbor's music. Mm -hmm. 
it's tangled in a lot of good stuff. Uh, the land's great, but I don't need red yet, so I can't really hit that highly yellow. Speaking of red, there's Chester Maca, like Chester more than Maca, I think. Species Scorcher, I can clearly pick up about blue and green. Uh, it's really, really good. It's funny because I think <laughs> the pick is the Gorger. Like, it's like the correct pick. It's not a bomb, it's really good though, and you can combo it even. Get a little good advantage, but the spike just I definitely love a lot more. It's like my favorite. I just love it so much more. It has so many more reasons to play this. Ugh. Oh god. <laughs> okay, now it's between these two. This is so nice too. This gets funny. This, I guess. But Punish the enemy is a better card. Clearly I've got no red cards yet. I'm trying to avoid it, but I'm trying to formulate some kind of plan of attack. Of course this one red drafting. Ah, oh, the double gorgers, they're a little clunky. It'd be nice though to have the synergy of that. Like I can then sort of build around that a little more. And the punish the enemy people don't even maybe like as much as me. I don't know. So they don't care. I mean, you know, in the way that I respect what somebody thinks about it, but it certainly doesn't affect my opinion of it. Ay ay ay. This card is this, I would say. Burst is always playable. Hidden string is nice. Clue stones. Ay. Fatal Fumes, you can argue a lot of these, but definitely I think that is the most powerful card, and I know it is, in fact, one of all those. It's not really the direction I'm going, but this pack is a disaster. Uh, this card's quite good, or playable, sorry. <laughs> Gates in, and probably won't. Definitely some gate hunters. I don't like the gate stuff particularly, though. Anyways, I mean these guys. I just I'll play them if they happen to work. And gates. I mean, I think I've talked about it, but they're basically taking a pick with mana production, mana fixing rather, and it's like you better probably just take something for your deck if possible. Of course it's got its place, but I'm just saying I don't value it as highly as many do, I'm sure. I know you have to play three colors and it's not easy, you have to get fixed and stuff, but you can just go with two, even a raw dog three. Just be careful. This Copa Guild Mage is the best card. Rakanura. He might be good for me. Wouldn't mind maybe trying to make this possible playable. So I don't understand. Um Looker is so good. Totally lost. I love it. Prison. in 95% of decks. Well, I do want to play Mirko. Drake's really good. Rogue's really good too. Usually I take the Drake over the rogue, but for some reason I'm getting that one. Maybe some offense. That's what I'm thinking, maybe. The deck doesn't really have anything. Uh, 
that's not bad. They're pretty good. Don't even consider the uh, whatever your other stuff can be fine. I don't perhaps nearly enough even think about it, but just by itself it's good. Be really cool though, like that would evolve blue green or something. I can maybe make it work with this. You're kind of a oh sweet mother. There we go. Now I'm drafting. Now my deck is official. Love the fucking dinner of a whore. The card's ridiculous, by the way. Nine out of ten. As far as I'm concerned. Last mutation goes far too late. Hmm. This is really the best card though. This is a plus second. Like this, like this, like this. This guy's good. So I'm not sure about my third color. <laughs> it could be green, red, or white. <laughs> Certainly black and blue. And foil. Sense. That's alright too. Well, we'll be back. I like if I was the best card. I don't really have a great chance of playing it. I certainly could, but it requires some effort. Whereas that rig is good. I like them. And certainly makes it up. A lot of good things here. Go other directions possibly, whatever, whatever, but that's not true compared to that being the right pick for sure. I think those are just arguing between second and third. So I'm going to keep this as simple as possible, that's the goal. Often, black, blue, let's see if I can even just make that work. Maybe splash for red or splash for something if I have to. So, now is where I should do math more often and I don't. Where am I just like, getting really good parallels, values and materials. Um, things, I guess. Or, a lot of good things, but this for me, nice and a launch party, I don't know. So, but I'm not going to count. Six, seven, play this here in black, blue. Eight, nine, ten, 
this is 17 k so Oh, wow, that's probably so nice. Prosper and so good too. I'm still not sure <laughs> what my third color is, or if I even need one. in the deck. How am I even doing this? I don't even know what my deck looks like. I thought I did. <laughs> this is traditional terrible drafting. Don't mind me. This go into green. I do get three cards in green. I don't know if I can do two colors. I need this though. I think <laughs> should have done the math, but I think two colors is still playable. So, I mean, I sort of counted, but I should have been keeping track exactly as of that moment. And I knew. Oh my god, those cards are just so good. Oh, sweet mother, seriously. I'm gonna make the worst two color deck instead of like just having any kind of ability to be able to play through the lack of commitment. Funny enough, that's one thing I've had in my relationship. Like, I'm like, okay, I get it. You're <laughs> you committed. It's not the problem. Playing double black and double blue, two drops. It's kind of cool though. <laughs> it's like oh, just totally forcing a color or a two color build. Getting nervous, not knowing the third color, not being able to commit to a third. It's like classic sort of bad drafting, how I do it. It's like a style, whether it's hopefully, ideally, maybe a less terrible style than some of the bad ways to do it. <laughs> Best of the worst, maybe. Because that's the beauty of drafting. You can't expect anything, for sure, coming to your left or right. You can't. So you just have to build on what you've already got after each pick. It's being generic, but, you know, drafting's complicated. generic sort of deck a computer would build or something, you know, just not in a style to it. The 
بعد میگیرم Either way, between nine, eight, storms, and islands. One of the two. What is the cause of it? And finally, game motion. Oh my god, am I talking to you? No, I'm not good, I'm still talking. <laughs> but I lost it. I remember J. Cool Breeze. Keep it though. I think I've got the deck that can do it. Basically, I'm keeping because of my general principles. I'm talking. situations that can happen when you mull lands like this. Like I had a few days ago when I was playing 19 lands. It's crazy. I know one of them was uh, man land type token making land, but um, and I drew one, mulled and drew one again. So if you've got any kind of capable hand, if you can draw out of it, if it's you know, you've got some kind of thing going on in your deck and Whatever. Too late game or whatever. Good. Just decent removal or whatever it is. Then you basically have to keep it if it's at all keepable, at all playable, rather. Even if it's ugly, I think you have to. You can't. Unless you know for sure you're in a bad matchup or something. Well, game two, you can roll differently, but you have to sort of assume you're going to draw something and whatnot. Your opponent's going to. Perhaps have to mull or whatever. Just have to keep it. You can't think. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, it's like they say aggressive mulling or whatever. That's it. I, I'm not an aggressive muller. Like, if it's at all doable, seriously. Like, you're lucky stars, you've got lands, you know? shouldn't play this now. This around. Good 
dropping the component not. Sweet Jesus, two rounds would be wonderful. Getting away with this. Things are so sweet. Oh man, the other day somebody dropped one of those. Turn two, I was like, uh, you know, I didn't have anything. I had like a turn four job or something. Like playing first or whatever, of course. It's really painful. In fact, it was you, Camilla Rose. I remember your name. You're a regular. What's going on? Just saying. You smashed me with a daring skyjack or something. So just play this and not attack. Makes no sense, I think. And I can draw cards or I can play this guy. Seems better. Get it going, you know. Play it so you can tap it later or something. I mean, you should get its tap ability going as quick as possible, whatever that is. It's probably not as good as doing this. I don't know. It seems like it's developing the board more or a blocker or something. This is probably bad. I'm just doing what first came to my mind. Just trying to force something there, I think. trade I wanted. And still get out of this, you know, so it's not too bad, but it's looking a little grim. I've got what uh, whatever eight coming. Maybe another five at least next turn. Assuming I get a land. I guess I should do this just in case. Don't know what I would have.
can't believe I exiled my land. I think it's not going to exile that land. I was just a little brief. I'm not planning on that. that or whatever it is maybe who knows but usually best to attack first and see what happens if you've got a better target you want to prevent from damage tricks let's hope he's got two lands in hand and offense and I'm back in that point, usually in a game anyways, when you just sort of tapped out and see what happens. Mistakes to that point be damned, because they're not relevant to the current situation. I mean, I need to obsess over them. Knowing how the game transpired, perhaps, matters, yes. But dwelling on mistakes is certainly Losers game, learn that. Maybe I should attack first. Bluff some damage. that stab wound on any of those. I should probably just return the pilfer plans. Do I waste, if that's the appropriate term, my stab wound? Because if he does deal with this, and he could easily just rip something, he's going to do me another 8. If I just sort of plan that, um, anticipate it, and use my mana more wisely, maybe negate the worst case scenarios a little more. Like I don't do nearly enough, then maybe that's the best part. I think I should have maybe done that first, and then I'm just gonna attack with this or something. Or attack with this first with this mana. No, that wouldn't have done anything. I don't know. Don't mind me once again. I'll play it. Maybe holding it back is best. Necessarily play with my life total that much. I mean, I was just glad to be alive, really. Like, defensively, same with the, the main strategy. That's the funny part. Um, the deep, you know, plans of attack the late game sort of you know in-depth uh, analysis of the many boards that are gonna come across and that might occur in that match um, are way harder to come up with than the, just the simple whatever card for card attacking and killing things and whatever so it's uh, 
something I don't do nearly enough is the late strategies and stuff or whatever, just, you know, taking a breath and mapping up the battlefield or whatever. And I find when I do those, of course, I, I'm a lot more successful. I can get into it and just really take my time. Because you have to, I mean, it seems like you can just adopt like the same strategies and that's why I often do myself, you just sort of, uh, you know, analyze the board just very simply on a superficial, whatever, just combat based kind of thing when you should be thinking about, you know, more, whatever, it's like uh, outside the box resource management or whatever, just uh, tempo based thought or whatever the possible, uh, what the hell did I just do? That was terrible his term or something but yeah it just you can't uh, can't get away with not thinking if you want to be really really good I pop those and I just play this Ugh. sloppy Shredder and pump these guys twice. I still on so much damage, losing this opportunity. Being a disastrous player. Ugh, I'm embarrassed now. <laughs> Looking at what I'm doing. Okay. Snapping out of it right now. I don't know what he's got. Good God, maybe like. Five back, we can easily pump, pump, you know, a couple of giant goats and dead or whatever. It's uh, not quite a couple, three. Yeah, uh, I don't know why am I finally just thinking it's best to attack with that. Maybe it doesn't matter. I'll hold it back once more. Because I think the next turn is lethal anyways, and even if I mail them four lands. That wouldn't have changed the fact that I could try to win the next turn just as likely. Whatever I'm trying to say. But once again, I think I'm just terribly inept and uh, I shouldn't have attacked and keep this as well now. Don't mind me, I'm staring at the TV. This is fascinating. Think about a dolphin who's escaping a big fish and it's riveting and beautiful. I think 
CG Dolphins. Digital Dolphins are for me. Okay, it's going to show you some kind of trick. Maybe the Store the Peace or something. Hopefully not uh, Etherized. Chasing him again now. Fuck. Hopefully, he doesn't kill everything. Believe that this might only make sense now for me. Oh my god, no, fuck. Maybe give me mental damage. Maybe. Okay, thank god. That's, that's a little better. Lovely. Phew. Round two. See you in. Let's see. Oh my god. Took me a while. <laughs> oh my god. I see. Can't play. I'm nervous. Done. Quit magic right now. Yeah, we got all the gates. Um, something to be said for attacking in this position. If he does have removal, let's say one damage to much creature if you wanted. Um, oh fuck. I guess I'm totally off of that now. <laughs> um, I was going to say you can kill my guy anyways, but I kept him as a blocker or attacked him, so get the damage away, I think, optimistically at that point. Apparently, though, um, my opponent had the nuts. It was not the best way to go about it. So that was so crazy. Excuse me. I love this kind of stuff. Very true. Nice stuff, whatever. Dex clearly better than mine. Already, I can tell. Yeah, I didn't pass too many of those. Hey. Attack each turn thing not that bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah. Um, Slapping on my anti nut. 
let's take star. Such a good deck for us like that. Dude, of course. something nice like my dead robo heart or something. Peace, my friends. I wish you. 